Hey Russell fam, in today's video we are going to do a flip through of Saxon Math Level 7-6. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky. I am a homeschooling mom of two and I've been homeschooling since 2012. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We are so glad you are here. We also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. There I give you lots of tips and tricks and things I have learned of all of my years of homeschooling. If you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. This is going to be my fifth year of using Saxon Math. I started using Saxon with Bailey when he was in second grade and he is going into sixth grade. So this is going to be my fifth year. Last year we used Saxon Math level six, five. This year we are using Saxon Math lesson at level seven, six. I know those numbers can get very confusing. So let me explain them to you real quick. Here I'm gonna show you. It says Saxon. 7 6. That means that it is 7th grade, 6th grade advanced. So the first number is the grade level that you're using, but since he is in 6th grade, we are using this one because it is 6th grade advanced. So just to let you know, I know that can be confusing with their numbers because once you've got Saxon kindergarten, you have Saxon level 1, Saxon level 2, Saxon level 3, and then it gets confusing after that. So let's get started on this flip through. All right, here is the flip through of Saxon Math for homeschools 7 6. And again, the 7 6 means grade 7, 6th grade advanced. So Bailey is in 6th grade. Last year, his said 6 5, which was 6th grade, 5th grade advanced. So that's why. That's what those numbers mean if you ever wondered, because with Saxon kindergarten, first, second, and third grade, it all just says levels one, two, and three. So now let's get started on this. It comes with the solution manual, and which I love because it'll tell you, okay, lesson 53, the lesson practice, and here are the practice A, B, and C, and then you get down here to the mixed practice, and then it shows you all of the answers and shows you how to work them out, which I love math. Math has always been one of my favorite subjects. My husband's an engineer, so he loves math, but Bailey, not so much, but he still has to do it. All right, so that's the solution manual. And here are the worksheets and tests. So let's see. And sometimes they put some manipulatives in here for you. It tells you each lesson. And after every fifth lesson, there is a test. And after every 10, there is an investigative on here. So, for example, here is the timesheet that he has to do. It's just kind of a review. The, and it says, for use with lesson one, 64 addition facts. And then you're over here to 100 subtraction. See, and it tells you use this for lesson seven. And then you flip to the back, back here. There's you some graph paper if you need it. Here is your grade book to keep up with scores and everything. Um, I don't use this. Um, I will post a video in the iCard up top to show you how I do my record keeping. But let's see, and here's like a test. There's 20 problems, it's just one page. And it also has a timesheet that goes with it on its test. So here's some more tests. And here's some stuff that goes with like the investigations that you have to do. So any worksheet or anything you need or test will be in this booklet. But when it comes to the day-to-day -day math problems or lessons that you're doing, you have to handwrite those out. So let's just do, let me show you. There's just the beginning of it. It tells you, it tells you about the lessons and practices and things like that. 
There's your list of materials that you will need. All right, so right here, lesson one is adding whole numbers and money, subtracting whole numbers and money in fact families, part one. So pretty much for the first several lessons, you're just kind of reviewing, picking up from where you left off last year. So you're always gonna have your warm up right here, which is your mental math. Then you're gonna have your new concept. And what I do is I make Bailey read this himself. I'm trying to make him more of an independent learner. And then it gives him examples, solutions, type things here. There's some more examples. And then we get over here to where it says the practice set. And so the practice set is just what you learned in the lesson. And then you get to the mixed problems and it will be a mixture of all the problems from all the lessons you have learned previously. So let's go find one right here. Okay, like mixed problems right here. Here's this. And if you look right here, it'll have a 24. That's telling you that that came from lesson 24. So if your child has a problem here, you can go back to that and see where they messed up and help them. Or like right here, here's the investigation. It says, I and B2, so you flip back to that. This one's 24 and 29. So if they miss these problems and you have any questions, you can just flip back to that lesson or make them flip back to that lesson and see what they are doing wrong if they keep missing it. So here's an investigation. Just little fun things you read. This one's about angles. And there you go. So that is the short, sweet flip through of Saxon math. If you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments below. I hope you have found this video to be helpful, to be informative. I hope it has helped you see the curriculum like you want. If it hasn't answered all of your questions, drop me a, a comment down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have about the curriculum. I will also leave a link down in the description box below if you want to um, find out more about it or if you want to order your own curriculum. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye!